we're going to look at a fun little tool you can make at home. It uses compressed air to create a vacuum or low pressure area so you can move fluids. So you can see here I'm, I'm uh, taking water and mixing that with the air and it's sucking it through that tube. So what this is is a an eductor jet pump. So this converts the pressure energy of a motive fluid to velocity energy, which creates a low pressure zone that draws in and entrains a suction fluid. This is straight from the wiki, guys. The pressure energy of the inlet motive fluid, so the inlet would be that water, that's converted to kinetic energy in the form of a velocity at the head of the throat area of the convergent divergent nozzle. Um, I don't have a convergent divergent nozzle, uh, but so this is kind of an inefficient pump, but as you can see, it does work. Mega Mechatronics. So, what we're going to do in this example is I'm going to evacuate some transmission fluid from a transmission before I pull it. So some things I used, uh, or you may need to create one of these pumps, is a air nozzle for your uh, compressed air system, some uh, dikes, uh, cutters, um, a little piece of plastic, and we're going to actually use that as a little gasket, a simple little gasket, and then this tube here. And I picked a large enough tube. Um, it, it fit the transmission tube, but you may have to use a smaller tube. And this is important, is you need a bottle of some sort. Uh, because if you use a plastic bottle, the vacuum will actually uh, collapse the bottle. Some uh, air, uh, ear protection for that loud air. And then I, I showed some empty containers for whatever fluid you are evacuating. And then uh, let's clear this stuff away, and I'll show you how I made the attachment for the uh, compressed air nozzle. So we have our tube. I just cut a little, uh, little section off of it, and... Uh, I'll show you in a little uh, bit here of why I have two hoses. So I just cut a small little slit into the side. Um, and you might have to st start small and start pre-fitting this um, nozzle. So I stick the nozzle in and it fits nicely. And you see there's about an inch and a half between the end of the uh, air pressure nozzle. In the end of the tube. Okay, so we are in the engine bay. I'm going to pull the transmission dipstick and then I will compare, the, do a little reference length here to make sure I get at least to the bottom. And you might not be able to get all the fluid depending on the hose and how the hose uh, is interacting with the fluid in the crankcase or in the uh, oil pan there. So here I stick the nozzle in. Uh, probably a few inches down to where the, the bottle diameter gets larger. And then the vacuum side of the, the pump, I only stick in maybe uh, an inch. Um, and we need to, and then the gasket, I wrap it around one time, and then you see how I go over the middle, and then I sort of clench it with my fingers. And this creates a much better gasket than your fingers alone. And you see I start pressurizing it and it starts drawing fluid out of the case. So let's speed this up. So the reason we put the inlet hose lower than the vacuum hose is so that we don't accidentally uh, collect um, or, or uh, atomize any of that oil and spray it around, spray it on your car, um, breathe it in. So you, you want that little offset between the vacuum tube and the uh, inlet tube that is drawing the fluid in and I, I stop it at the bottom. I, I could keep it going, but um, uh, just to be safe and, and not create a mess, uh, I stop there, and then I am filling that up in one of the containers, and the reason I did this was so that I could save the fluid and reduce contamination, because there is, on a 700R4 for GM transmission, there's no uh, like drain plug, you're going to have to drop the pan 
and that um, will create contamination. That'll get dirt from uh, any dust and dirt that accumulated from the bottom of the car. So with this method, I was able to get maybe a gallon of fluid out of the uh, transmission and uh, save a few bucks for later. And just so I don't create an excessive mess when I uh, pull the dipstick tube out and then drop the transmission um, out of the vehicle. And I'm just dropping the trans so I can uh, then pull the engine and then get a uh, get some money for this rust bucket old Firebird I have here um, that I used for some tuning. I, I installed a 454 throttle body in it and then uh, got hooked up with Tuner Pro RT and wideband sensors. So uh, just a learning experience for me in, in tuning and fuel mapping and things like that. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this and other fun mechatronics projects, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Mega Man. Thank you for watching.